Now on a call with Israeli Defense Minister Yoav Gallant. The United States Secretary of State Anthony Blinken made it clear that Washington will stand with Tel Aviv against any threats by Iran. Three sons of Hamas leader Ismail Haniyeh were killed in an Israeli airstrike in the Gaza Strip on Wednesday. Reports suggest Hamas has stated it lacks the ability to locate 40 hostages needed for a ceasefire deal. Countries in the region and the United States have been on high alert. They are preparing for a possible attack by Iran in response to a suspected bombing by Israeli planes of the Iranian consulate in Syria on April 1st. Iran's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei said on Wednesday that Israel must be punished and it shall be for attacking the Iranian embassy compound in Damascus. In an apparent response to Khamenei, Foreign Minister Israel Katz said, Tel Aviv will respond if Iran attacks Israel from its own soil. Joe Biden and Allied officials fear significant strikes within days in retaliation for Israeli bombing. The United States president promised ironclad support for Israel. Biden's promise comes despite his public criticism. Netanyahu over the toll on civilians in Israel's campaign, especially after a strike killed seven aid workers. As I told Prime Minister Netanyahu, our commitment to Israel's security against these threats from Iran and its proxies is ironclad. Let me say it again, ironclad. We're going to do all we can to protect Israel's security. Hamas has reportedly told negotiators it does not have 40 Israeli hostages that it can release as part of a temporary ceasefire deal. The assertion raised fears that more hostages might be dead than previously believed. In the seventh month of the war, Hamas wants an end to Israeli operations, withdrawal from the enclave and permission for displaced Palestinians to return home. Now, Hamas has said that three sons of Ismail Haniyeh, Hazim, Amir and Mohammed were killed when the car they were driving in was bombed. The Israeli military has confirmed carrying out the attack, describing the three sons as operatives in the Hamas armed wing. Haniyeh, based abroad in Qatar, has been the tough talking face of Hamas's international diplomacy as war with Israel has raged on in Gaza. His family home was destroyed in an Israeli airstrike back in November. Relatives say the three sons and four grandchildren were making family visits during the first day of the Muslim Eid al-Fitr holiday in Shati, their home refuge camp in Gaza City. Speaking to the media, Haniya said killing of family members won't affect Hamas's demands. Israel will open a new land crossing into the Gaza Strip designed mainly to facilitate deliveries to Palestinians of aid from overseas or neighboring Jordan. A spiraling humanitarian crisis has drawn pressure on Israel from its Western and Arab partners to do more to facilitate the entry of aid. Israel has gradually reopened two established cargo crossings and created a new crossing on its border last week. Tel Aviv announced it would admit Gaza-bound aid shipments at its southern port of Ashdod. Defense Minister Galan said a new crossing point would be created on the northern part of the Gaza border. It would reduce the time taken to truck in aid from Ashdod 40 kilometers away. An aide said the crossing point would be between the Israeli village of Zikim and the Palestinian village of As Siafa. Israel has also helped set up maritime corridor for direct deliveries of aid by sea and opened its airspace to foreign planes that have parachuted in aid for Palestinians. 
There has been disagreement between Israeli and United Nations counts for the aid reaching Gaza. Most people are homeless. Parts of Gaza face famine. Civilian infrastructure is devastated and disease widespread. For all the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.